Hey, good morning, everybody. Let's start uh, this forecast as we always do with a beautiful shot. Look at the color in this one from one of our regular contributors, Jeremy Church. This was a Lake Michigan sunset. He took this just two days ago. I love the colors here. Thanks to Jeremy for putting that on the Facebook page. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, my page is Kevin Craig Fox 17. If Twitter or Instagram are your thing, um, it's at Fox Weatherman. And yesterday when we had that risk of severe weather. I put things out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you were following me, you would have had a heads up uh, and known what was going on, especially across our southern counties, because as we look at radar estimated precipitation, there wasn't that much north of Grand Rapids, but across our southern counties in these areas in blue, yeah, there was two, three, four inches of rain with thunderstorms rolling over the exact same location over and over. We call that training of thunderstorms. It's just like if you're sitting waiting for a freight train going by. These cars are connected. You're thinking, is that the last one? Nope, there's another one, another one. And that's the same type thing. These thunderstorms rolling over the same area, dumping three, four inches of rain. Look at the accumulation of rain here, at least as estimated by radar in Van Buren County there, 3.7 inches, 3.5 inches down there in Berrien County, Southern Calhoun County, 4.8 inches. That's a lot of water in a fairly short amount of time. I don't have any more precipitation on radar right now. That is gone. Pull out to a wider perspective, all of that threat, that uh, thunderstorm activity has shifted off to the east. There's still some cloud cover out there. We're going to start this day with mainly cloudy skies. I can't even rule out a couple of sprinkles this morning, but mainly dry from here on in. And then as we get into the afternoon hours, we'll likely see uh, some uh, late day clearing, get it on a little bit of sunshine. Our temperatures have stopped in the mid 60s. That's where they are right now. 66 in Grand Rapids, 65 in Ionia, our southern county, 67 in Battle Creek, 68 on the south side of Kalamazoo. And we're in the middle 60s along and south of the I-94 corridor as well. Our dew point temperatures are in the mid 60s right now, but we'll filter in cooler and certainly drier air as we head on through the day. So by the time we get to the end of this day, you're going to realize and recognize that, wow, it's a fairly dry air mass. We'll strip a lot of that moisture out of the atmosphere, but it'll take a little bit of time. Mostly cloudy to start this day. It is going to be cool. It's going to be breezy and we'll have uh, gradually less humidity in the air with temperatures around 68 degrees for the high and a west and northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour out on Lake Michigan. These are your Lake Michigan water temperatures, but there is a high beach hazard risk out there. Not a good idea to be going swimming in the water at any of our area beaches out there. And there's a reason for that because the winds are going to crank up the waves. It'll drive wave heights at about four to six feet this morning, maybe as high as six to eight feet this afternoon. This evening, they'll come down to about three to five feet. There's small craft advisories out there through the day for you boaters with the west to turning northwest wind at about 20, maybe as much as 30 knots. So not a good day to be out on Lake Michigan, either in the boat or in the water trying to swim. Plus, it's going to be cool anyways. Uh, here's what it looks like at 9 a.m. Cold front has already moved on through. That's going to sweep most of that precipitation uh, out of here. There's still uh, cloud cover behind it, but by the time we get into later portions of today, we should begin to see some clearing. And you can see those lines that are moving on the map. Those are wind stream lines, so uh, they show us the flow and they're longer and they're moving quickly, so it's a pretty good flow. A stiff wind turning uh, in from the north and west and that's going to filter in a cooler, drier Canadian air mass in here. That will allow our temperatures tonight to cool into the 40s. Brody Carter said he's looking forward to that. I'm sure there's a lot of folks that are. You can turn off the AC, open up the window, maybe save on the electric bill there. As we go through Tuesday, some cooler air in the uh, region may spark a couple of isolated showers in the inland locations on Tuesday afternoon. And then as we go Tuesday night into Wednesday, we've got clear to partly cloudy skies. There is a warm front that's going to lift on through the area on Wednesday. That could spark a couple of isolated PM showers. On the other side of that front is a warm air mass. So we'll go from upper 60s today and tomorrow to mid 70s on Wednesday. And then we really get into the warmer air on Thursday with temperatures in the mid 80s. And then by the time the cold front comes through on Friday, that's our next best chance of some widespread prolonged shower and thunderstorm activity. Maybe we can all get in on some of that and alleviate the severe drought that we'll be in or that we are in already. 68 degrees for the high today with mainly cloudy skies to start, but we should see some late day clearing. 69 degrees tomorrow with partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. I can't rule out an isolated shower here with that cooler air that's in play over the area. Then the warm front lifts in here on Wednesday. We're talking mid 70s with an isolated PM shower possible there. Thursday is dry with partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. 84 degrees there and then Friday we're cooler with extensive cloud cover. Probably some showers and thunderstorms through the day. Maybe into the evening hours. We should all pick up something there is what it looks like. And then 77 degrees by the time we get into Saturday and Sunday. 
80 degrees. That is the normal high for this time of the year. And keep in mind, these are some of the longest daylight hours we are seeing. But I will tell you, with the longest day of the year and the arrival of the summer solstice yesterday, our days are gradually getting shorter from this point on. That's our forecast at 649. Let's check our traffic. Here's Rob.